In this video, I want to show you guys how you can download all of your photos out of Google Photos up next. My name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different tech tutorials, tip videos, tech reviews and more. So please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get all of your photos out of Google Photos. You might have heard but Google is no longer going to be letting you have unlimited photo storage of your high quality photos after June 1st, 2021. Any photos you upload after that date are going to count against your 15 gigabytes of storage that they're giving you. So you might want to see about moving your photos to some other cloud storage option, maybe Amazon Photos or some Dropbox, some of the other options. Or maybe you just want to download all your photos so you can have a local copy on your external hard drive or micro SD card. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. There are three different methods uh, for downloading your photos. And you might even be asking, how many Google Photos do I actually have? Stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you a quick trick on how you can see exactly how many photos you have in Google Photos because it doesn't tell you. It doesn't give you, you would think it would just tell you somewhere here, but it doesn't. All right, so three different methods to download your photos. The first one is going to be individually or group downloading your photos from Google Photos. This works great if you just have a small amount of photos to download and as you mouse over your photo, you'll see a little check mark appear and you can click right on that to select that photo. From that point, you can multiple select photos by just mousing over, holding the shift key down and then clicking a photo that's maybe a couple photos away. So by doing that, I have multiple selected these photos. I can then go up here to the right, there's these dots, click on that and then go ahead and download these three photos that I have selected. You'll see in the lower left that Google zips them up, puts them into a zip file, which is just a compressed file format so that I can easily get those photos. And then if I click this arrow, I can go to show in folder and then that is going to pop up right here in my downloads folder, uh, those photos. If I double click into that folder, I can see those three images that have been downloaded. I can highlight them, I can copy them over to a drive and go from that point. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he's gonna briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up and let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below with your best comment. If you're the first person to find him, we'll put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in a future video, just like Donnie R, who is our latest viewer to find Tinker hidden in one of our recent videos. Now, if you have a lot of photos, um, what I would suggest that you probably want to do is create albums. And you'll see over on the left side here that we have albums. And I've created a couple as samples for you guys. I would suggest that you start creating albums by year. And as I scroll up and down on my Google Photos, you'll see all the different years over here on my right side. And Google categorizes your photos based on their photo taken date by year. So depending on how many photos you have, you might want to create an album that is of a certain year. So I could take all the photos from 2020 and make that an album and then do that for every year. If that's gonna to be too many photos for you and if that's gonna to take too long, you might wanna split it up into half year segments, maybe quarter, quarterly, maybe even monthly. It all depends on how many videos and photos you have. And I know that this can be a tedious process, but you have to also allow the time to download all these photos and videos that you might have. And if you've got a slower internet connection, again, this is gonna take longer. So as an example, if I multiple select several different photos, I can click on this one and then like, let's go down to this one here. Let's say these were all from uh, this particular month, the month of March. What I could then do is go up here to this plus, create an album, and we're just gonna title this album March 2021. 
and you could do this for an entire year if you want. When I click enter, that's going to enter in that particular title that I gave it, and I can see all these pictures. If I go here to check mark this album, then what I can do to download this particular album of photos is go to these dots and then go to download all. That is going to download this entire, say, month's worth of photos and videos again to another zip file and then you'll be able to copy that zip file to wherever you want. Now the reason I'm choosing to do this as an album versus just highlighting all the different photos I have from the entire year and then going to download them is for some reason when I've done that it seems to error out. I'll get an error message down here from Google saying it was not able to download all of my selected items. And then by creating albums this also allows me to know you know what year I've created an organization of these photos and which ones I've downloaded already. Uh, something else that I do want to let you guys know is that with albums, if you click on albums right here, you can see the albums you've created and you can see exactly how many items are in each one of those albums. So I can give you an example here. I put all the photos that I had gathered from Google Photos from the second half of the year 2020. So that would be from July through December, and that came out to be 2930 items, so just under 3,000 items. This is that download that I did. Uh, it actually consists of 8 gigs, right here, 8.5 gigs worth of photos. That's the 2,900 photos, and that took like 15, 20 minutes just to download that. And I'd say we've got a pretty average internet connection. Again, this is just one half of the year 2020 of photos that I downloaded, and it still took like 15, 20 minutes. So if you are planning on doing this for multiple years worth of photos, and as you're grouping these albums together, just give yourself some time to download all this stuff, because even you know larger videos are going to take even longer than downloading the photos. And if this video is helping you out, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. And then my third method that you guys can use, Google has a tool called Takeout. And you can go to takeout.google.com. And that brings you to this page. And this is an area where you can essentially extract or export all the different information from your Google account. And Google, by default, check marks all these different areas. So like Assistant Notes, Calendar, Chrome. But since we're just doing Google Photos, we don't want all these checked. So we're going to deselect all these things that Google has checked in our Google Takeout. I'm going to scroll down on this page until I find Google Photos. And we can see Google Photos right here because we want to work with that. So I'm going to then check mark this box so that it gives us options. This first button here where it says multiple formats brings up an information window that says that whatever formats photos and videos were uploaded to, that is how they are going to be downloaded again. So if I uploaded a JPEG, which I would say just about all, if not all of my photos from my phone are JPEGs, they're going to re-download back as JPEGs. Videos, if they were MP4s, are going to download once again as MP4s. From this point, we can go to All Photo Albums Included, and if I click on this, this is going to show all the different albums that I have created in my Google Photos account. And if you want to download everything all at once, what you can do is make sure all of these different areas are selected and then go ahead and click OK. For tutorial purposes, so that this doesn't take forever, I'm going to deselect all of these and I'm just going to do that March 2021 album that I had created and we'll go ahead and click OK. From this point, once we've done that, we will scroll down to the bottom of this takeout page and what we are looking for is this blue next step button and I'm going to click on that and then it's going to ask us how we want to export all of this data, all of these pictures and videos. You can do a export once or you can do it repeatedly like every two months. We're just going to export it once 
and then it's asking how we want this stuff exported. You can choose zip, you can choose TGZ. I've never used TGZ, I'm just gonna do zip. Uh, and then you can choose what size increment you want the zip files to be. Um, they can be as little as one gig or as large as 50. Now, if you just have massive amounts of photos and videos, you may wanna choose some of these larger download sizes. You'll have less packets of information to download. But again, if you've got a slower internet speed, maybe not quite as many photos or videos, you can choose one of these smaller sizes. When I've used this takeout method, I have tried to download these packets of pictures that it puts together and it will sometimes error out. And if you're gonna spend like a half hour or an hour or maybe longer downloading this 50 gigabyte file size of photos only for it to error out, it's very frustrating versus if you have the information delivered in like one or two gigabyte sizes, if that particular download errors out, it's not gonna take you as long to re-download that information. But at the same time, if you have like 300 gigabytes of photos and you select one or two gigabyte packets, you're gonna have 150 of those different packets of photos to download. So you choose what you think is gonna be the best amount for yourself. In this instance, I'm gonna choose like two gigabytes. And then I would create export. Now from that point, what it's gonna do is it's gonna start creating the export. And it'll say here, uh, export progress. Google's creating a copy of the files from Google Photos. Now I actually already did this, but because I was choosing to have them delivered by email, what's gonna happen then is Google will send you an email. And this is my email uh, that Google has sent me. And it says, we finished creating your copy of the Google data. You can download your files. And I'll see here my two different blue buttons. Each one of these has a different packet of photos to download. So I can go ahead and download those. Once I've done that, those are gonna pop up in my downloads folder. And I wanna show you the example. So here is the takeout folder that downloaded. But when you use the takeout method, it's weird because as I keep going through all these folders that Google Takeout has created, not only do I get all the JPEG files, but it also gives me all these JSON files, which is the metadata from all of the pictures that I downloaded. And just to show you guys an example, if I double click into one of these, it opens with my notepad. This is essentially giving me the title, the time that the photo was taken, the date, but this is all a separate file. And honestly, I don't know if I really want all this. If, if you guys want it, you can keep it. You can see there were some of these video files in here as well. You can sort by type. And then if you didn't want all these extra files, I suppose you could just highlight the first one, hold your shift key down, go down to the bottom file, and then right click and go ahead and delete all that. But it seems like when you use the takeout method, Google gives me more files than I really need. I just want the photos and videos. So that is using Google's takeout. Out of the three methods, the one that I would recommend you probably do is create the albums and then just download those albums. That is gonna give you the most straightforward way to download all your photos. I wish there was just a big red button up here that would say, hey, download everything from your Google Photos account. They don't unfortunately give you that option. All right, so as promised at the end of this video, how can you tell how many photos you have? What you can do is go to your Google dashboard so you wanna to go to, in your browser, go to myaccount.google.com forward slash dashboard. That's gonna bring up this page, which shows you an overview of your Google account. But underneath here, you'll see photos, and it actually tells you how many photos you have in your Google Photos. So I have 65,699. I'm interested to know how many photos do you guys have in your account? 
let me know that down in the comments section below. So I've also done another video that explains how you can share your Google Photos with other friends, family, or even sync up accounts. Both my wife and I have our own Google Photos accounts which are attached to our cell phones and then we were able to link those so we can see each other's photos. I will leave a link down in the description below as well as at the end of this video if you want to check out that information. And if you haven't yet subscribed, take a second right now hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you get notified every time I release new weekly videos just like this one. Hey my name is Jeff and as always I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you guys in the next video.